Now let's talk about the discovery of nucleus. Prominent work was done by Rutherford. He used helium nuclei or alpha particles and target them on the point tetra zero four centimeter gold foil. When the alpha particles hit the gold foil, they pass through it and fall on the zinc sulfide plate. Rutherford found that most of the alpha particles pass straight from the gold foil and fall on the detector. Some of the particles deflect at a greater angle, while very few alpha particles bounce back. Based upon his experiment, he presented a planetary model of atom. He found that most of the space in an atom is empty because most of the alpha particles pass straight from the foil. They didn't deflect. Therefore, most of the space in the atom is empty. There is a central hard nucleus with positive charge in an atom. As helium nuclei are the positively charged, they hit the positively charged center and bounce back. As very few particles bounce back, this suggests that there is a hard center inside an atom which has a positive charge and which is very small in size. He also suggests that the electron revolve around the nucleus and emit energy continuously. If they emit the energy continuously, it means they should give the continuous spectrum. The size of atom was found very small as compared to the whole atom. In his whole experiment, though he discovered the nucleus, which was his great achievement, but this point in his experiment was contradictory to the experimental evidences. He suggests that the electrons revolve around the nucleus and emit energy continuously. It means the spectrum of atoms should be continuous. But actually, experimentally, it was not a continuous spectrum but a line spectrum. Moreover, Rutherford also considered the electron, the material particles. It was thought that the planetary model of atom was not satisfactory. If the electrons emit energy continuously, there must be a point when they lost all of their energy and fall inside the nucleus. And when they fall inside the nucleus, the structure of atom will be destroyed. And that's how it was found that the planetary model of atom was incorrect.